When Michelle and Ian Merrifield, owners of the Dakari Bush School in Hood Spruit, Africa, received a call from a concerned citizen about what appeared to be an orphaned antelope, they first decided to have patience. Often, a baby animal that appears alone is actually just waiting for its mother to return. But as the day crept by, the baby's mom was still nowhere to be found. The Merrifields then took action and what happened next will bring a smile to anyone's face. After Michelle and Ian Merrifield, the owners of a South African rescue organization learned about an orphan baby antelope, they rushed to help. They soon discovered that he wasn't an antelope at all. He was a Nyla. Typically, Nylas are shy and hard to feed, but this one seemed to understand that the Merrifields were there to take care of him. Baby Nylas require a special formula of cow's milk, egg yolk, cream, and a type of digestive bacteria called Protexin. They have to ingest exactly 20% of their body weight every three hours. The formula also needs to be 104 degrees. This baby, named Chansey, seemed determined to adapt, especially when he was allowed to interact with the other animals at Takari. Chansey was a total hit. Everyone wanted to be his friend. Especially Nikita, the Rottweiler. Look how comfortable they are with each other. Maybe a little too comfortable. Chansey also made friends with three Maltese poodles named Candy, Booba, and Gucci. They would sit outside Chansey's enclosure until they were at last let inside. Chansey's closest friends were perhaps Thor and Layla, two marmosets who were rescued after their elderly owners passed away. Though Michelle and Ian don't condone owning exotic pets, they knew these little guys would never make it in the wild. That's because marmosets are indigenous to Central and South America, not South Africa. The marmosets would visit Chansey in his feeding cage and watch what Michelle was doing, Ian explained. I think they were curious, and they didn't seem afraid of him. Tragically, Layla passed away, and since then, Thor has grown even more attached to Chansey. Chansey is now all grown up, but he still has time for his friends, especially Thor. Best friends forever. Who wouldn't just fall right in love with Thor and Chansey? They're best friends. If you'd like to find out more about donating to Dakari,